So if it's a cool day, you'd put a sheet on just to make sure that they didn't get chilly while they're traveling. So I've just thrown the sheet over his withers and I'm going to carefully pull it back over his quarters, make sure that it's straight and in the middle of his back and pull his tail through the fillet string, which is really important in case it's windy. You don't want the sheet blowing up over his head. When you're buckling up, you just want to make sure that the sheet isn't too tight on their shoulders because you don't want their shoulders to be rubbed. But you don't want it too loose so that it comes back over the wither because then they'll get a rubbed wither. Um, so you just want it nice and snug but not tight. So the chiffney is used at the race course. Um, it's a legal requirement. You have to load and unload horses with a chiffney at the race course for health and safety reasons. So we're just going to put the chiffney on now. And you just pop it in, put it in and make sure that they've got just a little bit of a crease in the corners of their mouth on both sides. Tuck in all your straps. So I tend to put the um, lead rein on both of the rings just because then it's a little bit less harsh. Chiffneys can be misused very readily so just want to be gentle with them and not use them unnecessarily really. So you want to give them lots of confidence going onto the box, give them a nice wide run up Keep them on the right hand side so that they have lots of space to turn around in the back of the box. Ask them to move their bottoms over. So we've got them in the lorry. We want to clip the rope that we have in the lorry to the head collar, not to the chiffney. Take the lead rope off because he's now attached to the rope that is in the lorry and undo the chiffney 